Hey guys, welcome in, and I must say, I am tired of the white boosters. <laughs> Whenever I come back and play a game, even if it's a good game, and then I get a white, I'm just like, I, I don't have it in me now to just permanently grind away, trying to, like, spending an hour or two to try and get more than white and blues. Um, so I have been playing a little bit less as is evident um, as I've been busy I've just had school holidays for the boys my boys so I've been spending more time with them um, but now it is time it's time um, <laughs> we're gonna be testing out this new kind of ghost deck uh, all ghosts and see how they go I do have a few like I would like to use US Garatina um, I know Turtle, X Turtle from X Clan. When I mentioned this in chat, he was just like, what? "Where's Garatina?" I, I think he's amazing, and I do think he's very vi vi viable. Um, also, Decidueye is still very, very good, although it's one twenty is outclassed now. Um, yeah, there's a lot of mons getting outclassed damage wise. And even Garantina is outclassed damage-wise, but I still do like him and his effects. Um, but what I did want to do with this deck is I'm going for the full Evo on the... On the... What do we call it? Uh, the base form of Angler Slash. Uh, so I'm going to go for a full Evo Angler Slash and just see... If I can get it to work, if I can get it to run smoothly, what it's going to be like running it as a full Evo. Um, and also just testing out how well this uh, ghost deck is doing. Um, seeing if it is smooth to run or if it will run into trouble. Like, I don't see very many Kangaskhans these days, although Kangaskhan could potentially be a big trouble for it. Um, especially late game, early game, I'll probably have a few things I could do to... Uh, negate it, but grams. All right. So he's got the ultra bursts, and the poi pole, ultra beasts are everywhere. Ultra beasts are definitely the the newest big contender in the meta at the moment. I'm sure I played grams just the other day as well. Um. So I'm just gonna go lead on out with my shadow. Make sure I've got the damage uh, negativities. Um. So, oh, this, this right here, this right here is gonna is gonna be it. I I am gonna be trying. Let's go. This is gonna be okay. This is it. So X speed with this. I'm not even gonna cover goal. This is how. This is this is where it's gonna be useful. X speed, blues blues run his abilities spins in. <gasps> I was going to have a heart attack then. No, not quite a heart attack. But, boom. In, easy Evo, 110. Let's go. And definitely worth an X speed. And I don't need a cover goal. I am re in ready to go. So, 110, and then I've got minus 20. So, I can now compete with 130s. Um, I think that's amazing. And my opponent disconnects. The rage of it. They're just like, No! <laughs> Uh, well, I ain't gonna let you just walk on down with a poipo. One good thing is, using this against all the poipos and the ultra beasts, especially if they're trying to rush with you, they ain't gonna be getting no ultraportation on you. So, that is nice. That is very, very nice. And I'm just gonna have to wait out this little rager right now. <sighs> I don't miss that at all. I don't miss playing against these rages. Um, although I would be happy for a quick game, uh, so quick games definitely good. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if he can't. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I definitely don't think he's coming back. So let's get in a quick drink. Um, freshen up. So. The idea of this, and I, was, I, I could have been so close to getting uh, full Evo just as man, just boom, in there, get an Evo, 
uh, user X speed on the first form, and then even attack things like Celebi, and it's pretty much should be nearly a guaranteed uh, guaranteed Evo for the first form, and then you got the second form Evoed and X speed is what you want. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, I'll I will take I will take a blue, and I'll be happy with the blue. Um, and let's kick this off. Unlock. Has anybody seen uh, the silver boosters? I haven't actually seen a silver booster myself. Do you have to buy them, or can you just find them through playing? I haven't. I haven't seen it. To be fair. All right. Let us. Well, let's jump in. We'll have another match. See if we can do this again and not have some <laughs> rage. Uh, that was fun though. I'll take anybody raging like that. Be hilarious if it was the same guy and he did, tried to do the same thing, like thinking, it's just RNG. <laughs> um, okay, this should be alright for me as well. So, all I need to do is pop him out and I can use Power Battle. Um, so, if I go X Speed on the first form, Power Battle on the second form, I should be able to chew my way through my opponent. Uh, that is the, the goal. So I just need to get my shadow out, and then I can go out with one of these, and then just carry on. That that is the that is the what what I'm planning. Um, long throw counter attack Eon flutes. Okay. So I'm gonna go get these out right now. My shadow out first, and then I want to get him out. Um, and I would expect probably the other Latias to come out right about now. Oh, all right, all right. Let's go X speed, X speed into this one, and get the Evo, and then we will go Power Battle for the next one. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can get this full Evo, and then we'll see how good Angler Slash is. Um, Angler Slash the sword form, I think will be amazing versus these things. So looking for my gold, perfect. Ka-ching! Fly it off to space. Goodbye. I will take this Evo. And then, all I need to do is power battle the next one. And kaboom. So 110, I'll be hitting the equivalent of 130. So I should be able to knock out either of these two as long as they're not hitting their biggest attack. Um... So that's pretty good. That is pretty good, I think. So now let's just see what else he wants to do. All right. So, all right, let's do this. Let's go power battle. And let's go here. We're going to go jump into the middle here. And I'm going to attack it. Looking for... Perfect. Look at that. This is this is this is how the easiest ones to Evo, getting in there, kaboom, take it, go for the Evo. Now he's at eighty gold, massive starred purple, can't be taken away. Let's go, and then I can change form, have a massive gold, and just sit there attacking things. This is gonna be good. So eighty is equivalent of the one hundred. So I'm not quite able to take out the Latiases, but I'll give it a go. We're going to give it a go. Um, if I change form, I should be able to. So I want to change form and see if I can go right about there somewhere. He's got to move. There we go. He's got to go Evo or something. Yeah. And he is. <laughs> there we go. Although, if he attacks me and I go golden to purple. Well, you know what we are going to do? I am going to, I'm just going to go out with my, ah, oh, wrong one, it's Lunala, not Necro face forms. Alright, attacking, okay, give me that gold. Ah, oh, ah, oh, what are the, what are the chances? I even asked for it too, that was my bad for asking for it. <laughs> Oh man, that that is one of the things about the angler slashes and all that kind of stuff, is that and now I can't get it back. I got the full Evo and I didn't even use it. That is frustrating. I I completely overlooked his ability. That 
Um, the gold attacks of your dragon and psychic become wiped. My bad. My bad indeed. All right. Well, I just need to try and look, lock down entries now, and I've got to send. I've got to get moon moonbeams. I've got to moonbeam some things. Uh, moonbeam things to send them to his PC. He's got no max revives, so if I can moonbeam him, then he's going to be in trouble. All I need is a moon guys beam. Moon guys beam. <gasps> no. I would have taken a moon guys beam though. Um, now I am going to be a will o whisper and I can't hit a moonbeam, so that is a shame. Now he doesn't have the anti gold things though, so that is a bonus. So I'm just going to go up and attack, looking for my gold or a teleport, and then I'm going to get surrounded. And this game is quickly going to poops when <laughs> I had it in the bag and I just mucked up and bought other things on the board when. I sh and I even put the wrong mons on the board uh, when I should have just went over and attacked. So that is my bad. That is all my bad. That, that is not this deck's fault at all. It's just a misuse of the deck. Um, wow. That was tragic. That was completely tragic. Um, he should be moving towards my goal. Or he doesn't have to, actually. Um, this thing is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, I'm confused, right? I thought I was confused, but I'll take a, I'll take a burn. I will definitely take a burn. Um, I'm just going to go aggressive on this, ah, oh, man, he's got full gauge and he's going to do it. I, the, the gauge is filling up. It still catches me off guard. It still catches me off guard. <sighs> There's just, that was like, I, I, all these mistakes this game that was that was horrendous from myself the the bars falling up there i wish there was a better way of actually seeing how much people are gonna get per like because sometimes i'll go and it looks like they're gonna be full but they're not um and then i think my opponent's one may not be full um i think it just needs to be a little bit clearer you can kind of guess but it's still just a guess I would like it to be just a little bit clearer. Let's let's do this again. I am not happy with the way I played that. That was, that was I'm not happy with what I did that round. So I got the full Evo, and I let it just get taken away. But what are the chances, man? I could have hit blue. I could have hit purple, and it all just went to poop from there. Though feels bad. Feels bad. I would have found out if I had tried to change form though and attack. But at least I would have had range two. Feels bad though. Feels bad. I need to maybe change up the deck. Maybe put a, a mega bonnet in or something like that. Something that I can use aggressively and get extra bonus buffs on top of the ghosts to run with it. Um, Shaman Skyform with the Metagross though. Interesting. I, I, I like the innovations pretty much every deck you see has got to have like dawn wings necro the necro faces the acerises if it doesn't have ultra beasts it's got all of them um which is crazy and he's got the mega mega metagross as well hmm what's he gonna do i'd say skyform right here would be the best plan skyform over there Move it, move it. Hmm, maybe, maybe he's just checking out. He's like, what does he have? Grass Sphere, Ultra Burst, Ultra Burst, Double Ultra Burst. So he's running two of them. And so he's running Ultra with this one. So one people thing that people need to do, if any of you guys are watching and you run these, oh, he's not running two of them. He's only running one. If any of you guys are running things like this, um, hmm, I am going to move on defensively with my marsh, and just see what happens, okay, I can work with that, and then, Gengar, alright, alright, I can work with the Gengar, 
I will... I need to drop a Phantom Sphere. So I want to pop a Phantom Sphere right about now. Ooh, I don't want to use it on him though, is the thing. So I want to drop my Dawn Wings out. Does he have a Pokemon Switch is the question. No Pokemon Switch. Alright, I'm going to drop my Dawn Wings out. He's going to go Mega. I'm going to use my Phantom Sphere. I'm going to set up for Surrounds. Okay. Okay. I'll be happy with that. Um, I will... I'll pop my own Sableye on here. And then I'll use my Phantom Sphere. And then we'll get, get, into, get into goods that way. I should have just let him take it, but... Hmm. I'm stubborn. Uh, or if I let him take it, the reason why I didn't... Just so you all know, we're all clear. Um, okay. Going for the attack. Purple on purple. Or anything but his gold, really. I'll take that. Negate Sableye's ability. I will go Mega Sableye right about now. And I am just going to attack, just because I can. Um, looking for my purple. And I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and now he can cancel my ability. And then knock me out. And then I'm in a terrible position. Perfect. Alright, I'm just going to let him muck around and jump on over. And now I'm going to activate my Phantom Sphere. Yes, please. And then I'm just going to get all my Mons out. And at least I, I protected myself through all of this. Alright, that's fine. So he gets... No more purple for him. Um, I am just going to go and move out with my uh, Drift Loom. And then I'm just going to slowly move all my things out. His gold is nothing. Hopefully I get a knockout on him. No. I would have liked that as well there. Although it doesn't matter at all. Um, so I am actually just going to move up here and attack Gengar. Perfect. I'll take a knockout. Um, and I did that because if he takes my entry, I want to be able to surround him. Um, not not sure if he realizes that or not. I'm sure he would. But if he attacks, I hope I can get my purple on his gold. <laughs> my purple on his gold? What am I even saying? Purple on white. You guys know what I was meaning. And I'm, I, that was horrendous. Um, so now his gold should be spinning into white. His other white should be spinning into a smaller white. And he does have a gold block. Let's get him to burn that early. Is what we will do. Force him to burn a gold block is what we want to do. Goalie block. And then I'm just going to go shut this off. See what my opponent does next turn. And he does have his purple read, so he could potentially use his purple Z move on Necro Faces. Um, and send me off to the Ultra Space. And then. If he did that, I have swapped in my Pokemon Switch as well. Alright, that's fine. That is fine, I'll take that. Who's he going to attack then? Ah, oh, he's not a ghost anymore. I see what he did there. Um, well, now I need to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's going to be risky for me. I am going to go and attack this. Looking for my damage into his damage or my moonbeam. I'll take it. I'll take it. I need is something. Um, I've got to be careful about that. I really do have to be careful about that. Um, he could right about now. There we go. Use that one. Try and banish me. Attack. Get a banish. Hopefully he doesn't get a banish. But he's got two mons with heavy purple right there. Hopefully they don't run purple. I haven't actually seen someone use this in action. Purple, spin your white, spin your white, something I never want you to spin. No. 
finished. <laughs> Goodbye. Um. Mm. He is increases purple on this. I was gonna go just attack it, but he has increased his purple. Let's have a look at look at those details. Um. I can knock this thing out potentially. One thirty, one forty. No, I'm gonna go something crazy. If this doesn't, I could go gold block. Yes, I could do a gold block. Just putting it out there. If he hits his purple, I could have gone gold block, but <gasps> worth the risk. Worth the risk indeed. So. Um, now, all I want to do is pressure him, lock him down, and now hopefully roll some purples into his whites. Daddy. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, you had a good sleep. Thank you. I'll be with you very soon, then. Eh? Um, alright, let us, I'm going to go max right about now. And just make sure, just make sure I have a damage advantage. That's what we need right about now. And then I just need to look to knock off something of his. Long throw, okay. Gengar, okay. Uh, I'm going to go Lunala out here because he's going to go make a Gengar, definitely. So let's get rid of those poss possibilities. Um, and then let's try an X speed. X speed into Gengar. Ooh, is that worth it? Probably not. Actually, it will be. So he's going to be minus 40. So he's going to be doing 70 damage. I'm going to be doing not enough. Not enough. Uh. I want to just pack myself. I, I pressed that on the. Um, the game's not even listening to me now. <laughs> the game has given up. Hopefully, he rolls his. Not that. Um. All right. What do I want to do? I'm just gonna go jump on up here, getting myself out of the way. Hmm. Um. Potentially can get a surround on that thing. Right, powder? Oh, come on, double purple. Double purple is all I need. <gasps> one. One more. One more purple, please. Okay. Yes. I want something to watch. That is so bad. I'll, I'll be with you very soon, mister. I'm going to take this this time just because I've got an advantage. I don't want to let him get his advantage out. Um, and... I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I can potentially... I've already used my Max Revive, haven't I? I have used my Max Revive. X-Speed, Power Battle, all of those things left. <sighs> Alright. If he Z-Moves, I've got 50, just under 50% chance to roll a purple. So he's got just a slight advantage that he might knock me out. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, give me my purple. Purple is what we want. <sighs> Feels bad. Feels bad. Who did he copy that was Dark Sableye? He copied Sableye. Why would you do such a thing? All right, let's start moving up with this thing now. I do have an X speed and a power battle. I'm just going to start slowly moving up. Um, this could be very bad against Metagross, to be honest. If Metagross came out and attacked, he has got a massive advantage right now. Oh. I'm going to just lock this down. Move Sableye in over there, and then go for the surround. That's all we're going to do. That's it. That's going to be it. 
his, his gold should be spinning to white. All I need to do is roll one purple. Roll a purple. Perfect. And voila. Voila. I'll take that. All right. Get my mon meta banished. Can still do it. Play better. So the deck as a whole can run well. Uh, definitely, as you saw that second match, easy to get a full Evo Angler Slash. I will definitely be trying this some more. If you guys are interested, let me know. Do you guys want to get some proper gameplay when I don't muck around myself, make some mistakes? <sighs> I feel bad for doing that. Um, but there we have it. It is working. Let's see if we get anything from this 10. I haven't got anything from a 10 booster pool or 10 pack, 10 lock boost. I'll go something. I haven't got anything for a long time. Been sitting on commons a lot. Are you guys? Have you guys got any good pulls from your 10 locked booster recently? I think I'm due for one. So, I get some more pulls coming. Um, but there we go. Let's end this on a blue. And a blue, blue, blue from blue. All right. So let me know what you guys think about this deck, Angler Slash and this full Evo, or just a straight Ghosts deck at the moment. So let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully soon. Get back into doing things a little bit more regular. So see you there.